So um, yeah, just a few words, which which I'm sure will be reiterated by um, Steve in, in, in a minute, but I've had a fantastic three days uh, here at Cambridge with the, with the expert network on, on Sunday evening. Uh, and over the last two days of the actual main digital gathering uh, itself. It, it feels like a bit of a process of evolution to me, having been at the University of Birmingham um, last year. Uh, I, I think the event, the event here, which has been fantastically hosted by, by Bass, uh, has been great, really well organized, really well attended. There have been fantastic presentations but also some really good conversations in the, in, in the margins of the, of the conference itself, which, is, which has made the event uh, for me. I think this is all about having those peer-to-peer -peer conversations and, and bringing the community together. Uh, and, I, and I thought the picture on the balcony as well was, was great. That's going to be shared internally within NERC, and I'll make, sure, I'll make sure our Director of Strategic Partnerships sees that, because it's a very important sort of visible symbol of the, of, of the interest um, uh, and, and attention being placed on, on all things digital uh, within the council. Uh, and you know, the, the themes that have run through this workshop, uh, things like you know, data science, um, tools and techniques, next generation environmental monitoring, people and skills are, are all absolutely central to the aspirations of the digital strategy um, between 2020 and, and, and 2030. And, um, uh, you know, that's partly why a lot of these conversations have, have been fantastic evidence base for me to, to use and take, take forward. S speaking of some of those thematic uh, priorities, uh, I've got a few slides here, only two, but just to let you know, there are some upcoming funding opportunities that will be going live uh, imminently. So, uh, and again, we often speak in acronyms, not always a good thing to do, but um, we call these AIAB and TWINE. I think I'm going to have to use this, aren't I? I'll do it. Can you do it remotely? Yeah. Okay. So, so the first one is, yeah. First one's augmented image analysis for biodiversity, or AIAB. So, this funding opportunity is actually going to be going live tomorrow, fingers crossed. Uh, it's got a total budget of just over three and a half million. Um, I put some of the stats in relation to the call at the bottom of, the, of this slide. So we're looking at applications between half a million and three quarters of a million, um, funded at 100% um, for up to three years. There'll be a webinar taking place on the 24th of July to provide more background information uh, about the call and hopefully then the details go live on the um, on the net website or the UKRI website uh, you'll get a link to, to be able to um, register for that webinar but we're essentially this funding opportunity is looking to support the development of software systems for image analysis both in the laboratory and in the field uh, to maximize the value of physical imaging technologies. I won't, I won't read it through the whole paragraph. I kind of cut, I cut and pasted it from the announcement of opportunities, which you'll be able to see tomorrow. So that's, that's AIAB. Um, and the next slide, John, thanks. So coming hot on the heels of AIAB, a bit later this month, will be a call for well, it's a call um, from the, what we call the TWINE program. So this is twinning capability for the natural environment. It's a collaborative program between NERC and the Met Office. Josie, I don't know if you want to briefly say anything about this or not, or should I just waffle on about this one? Put me on the spot. Uh, not much more than is on the slide there. It should be going to by the end of the month. Um, and if we have any questions, I'll get in touch. I'll say that. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be looking at, at the, the priority areas listed or bulleted on this slide. So climate change, um, biodiversity and ecosystems, and also natural assets. Uh, and the budget will be around two million um, for this fall. Uh, again, and, and uh, funded projects 
will run for for up to fifteen up to fifteen months. So this will be coming out as as Joseph said later in July. Um, these are the two main new uh, funding opportunities. I thought it was worth highlighting um, at this particular event. But they're not all of the funding opportunities. There will be more to come. But we felt these were close enough to launch to be announceable at this time. Um, Oh yeah, and the last thing I just wanted to say briefly before before Steve um, gets up, I, I, the other thing I really liked about having the event um, over the last few days was, was this building sense of momentum. I, I, I'd really like to make you know an annual community based event a fixture in, in the diary uh, and something that NERC supports in the long term. I think it's a clear value to us as a council. So. I'll be working internally and having those conversations to make sure that happens and we have a digital gathering 24 um, that takes place um, and, and hosted at a suitable institution. So that's everything I wanted to say. You want to go next? I can say that, yes. Yeah, 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 I, mean, I can just say thank you for everyone coming to Cambridge and it's great. I didn't have to go very far, but I really <laughs> appreciate you all coming to us. It's been a fantastic few days. Um, I agree with Simon that you know, we've got this momentum known as annual conference, but equally, um, 12 months is a long time, and it'd be good to have some things going on in the interim as well. I would really, we would really benefit from people sticking their hands up and sort of, if they want to run something, talk to us, talk to Simon, Jason, the team, and we can, you know, see him, Simon, and want to see how we can do that. Um, keep the momentum going. There is the expert network as well, and it may be that one of your one of the um your colleagues at your university or labs are on that expert network so do connect with us and let's yeah let's keep that momentum going but thank you for coming and see you in 2024 cheers very good well of course uh, i'm going to repeat many of the things that we just said so it does doesn't seem does seem indeed that we've now come to the end of dg 23 and uh, just make a few comments on that. So I hope it's been a useful, useful couple of days, a useful couple of scientific days, both uh, just in terms of learning what's going on and more importantly, networking and, and meeting each other and communicating your science to others. Um, the photo is magnificent, as Simon says, that really says it all. If you're interested, it's now on the website and you can download that. And um, please retweet that. We'll we'll pop it up on our tweets in a minute. I'm, I'm sure you've spotted there's a lot of tweets that have been going out. And uh, thanks for anyone who's been re retweeting things out there as well. So we've had lots of excellent uh, talks. And again, just to reiterate, those talks will also um, come onto the web, and we'll um, we'll make the whole program available as a as a sort of a lasting resource on on the web, and you can access this, those talks. It'll take us a little time to work our way through all of those. Um, and, and the same, the posters obviously are all, all there, and we'll do the same with the, the, work, the workshops that we, we had. Um, I think it falls to me to thank a few people, as one always does at the end of this. I'd particularly like to thank, of course, all the speakers of the oral sessions and the uh, spotlights. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the hosts and the leaders of the workshops in particular. That, that was uh, fascinating. Um, uh, the poster authors, thank you for producing the posters for that. And um, of course, thank you for you for, for coming, and in particular those who've travelled a very long way uh, to come to come to to join us here in Cambridge. I'd like to thank uh, uh, John and um, Chrissy, where's Chrissy, and um, Matisha, who's been helping with the photography, and uh, Angela, uh, who's not here but who's behind a lot of this, uh, and Pilvi, thank you so much, and to yourself and colleagues and Bass who've worked tirelessly behind to have the excellent facilities and catering and, and uh, environment. Thank you so much for that. Um, most importantly, I'd like to, of course, to thank NERC for supporting this assignment. Please carry that message back to, to colleagues and NERC uh, for supporting the, the program. So we, we have had a program of uh, uh, um, talks and, and presentations. And of course, uh, you've all had a chance to vote on, on the Slido system, both uh, remotely and here in person. And so it falls to me now to announce the the winners for this, um, brilliantly, two of them aren't here. <laughs> so let, let's start with the, the oral presentation. And um, of course, this uh, it was quite a close run thing, I have to say. But in, in, in the end, it was just pitched by Alessandro Coco Castro and Alden Connor with their talk on SciVision and EDS book, making computer vision and data science more accessible. 
very interesting talk. So congratulations to them. Um, the award for the uh, best spotlight presentation, uh, David Mills. Uh, thank you very much. You have <laughs> You said that you've been in this game for a long time, so, <laughs> so I've got to learn. Thank you very much. First one I'll wear with pride. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, so, Thank you so much, David. <laughs> and uh, the, the best conference poster goes uh, to the poster entitled The Living England Project from Alex Kilcoyne from Natural England. And I do believe that she, in fact, isn't here. So uh, congratulations to her. And uh, we'll start her. Uh, her award as well. So there we are. So for me, it's a, there's a certain circularity to 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 this. Um, the digital environment, constructing a digital environment program, is now drawing to a close as well. Alongside this, with this event in September the fifth being the one of the sort of the final final acts of it. There's a circularity because way back in 2019, we started our journey on this uh, program, coming of course to pass to the conference in AI and environmental science in this very room. Uh, that uh, back in June 2019, and, and I, I still remember that conference with with fondness. So I think there's a there's a nice circularity to, to having our final final conference here. Um, so the last the, the last event will be on September the fifth. I will be in touch with everyone about that at the Royal Society. When Ron opened proceedings yesterday morning, he spoke about some of the legacy and some of the impact that the that the program has. We have this. Um, helped, I do believe we have helped um, to construct and facilitate a, a community of, of like-minded folk in this in this very exciting area. We've brought together a lot of resources and materials to support um, learning in this. We've got the, the fantastic webinars from wonderful speakers, the digital trails, all the blogs we've done, lots and lots of materials. And we've reached out to a wide range of stakeholders in, in this in this area, of course. So hopefully, you know, and the conferences as well. So hopefully there's more, more to come. And it's very pleasing to hear Simon's comments on that. Um, just listening, you know, to the talks over the last couple of days and just reflecting really on, on our work in the, the CDE, Constructing Digital Environment. You know, a few, a few comments, you know, digital and data science and environmental science it's a, it's a clear partner for environmental science, a digital and, and data science, clear partner. Um, there's no, no doubt that it's a very powerful tool, set of tools to advance scientific understanding. Um, however, the, there is a clear importance of the community of us who, who work in this area. And in a sense, gatherings like this are so important for us to, to share experiences uh, and, and really extend our, our, our knowledge. And the solutions that we, we, we've heard about stretch across many disciplines. So it's a really interdisciplinary area um, from, you know, computer science, data science, engineering, sensors, um, social science, uh, and of course, environmental science, the domain knowledge. So many, many skills coming together. The digital tools that we've heard about really generate um, deep insights into, uh, into the, the science that we're looking at, making predictions, exploring scenarios, developing tools, <clears throat> underpinning decision support, and so on. But, you know, the challenges remain. So there's the, the call to arms is, it ain't finished yet. The, the, the challenges remain, whether it's dealing with uh, the vast volumes of data and how we handle and, and manipulate that and manage that, whether it's bringing more, more clear certainty into the uh, predictions we're making uh, and so on stretching towards fair as our principle we've heard a lot about that you know but just the closing thought is the prize i think is quite clear from the from these tech techniques and technologies so you know let's work together towards those tools and um with that it's del delightful to hear about the uh, the opportunities in NERC. um wouldn't it be good if the the, the winning consortia for that is sitting in this room who, who knows Let's work together. Thank you very much for coming and attending Digital Gathering 23.